Hello everyone, let's discuss a little bit more for the need of estimation and costing. The basic thing is the requirement of finding out the cost. We want to find out what will be the cost in the project. Okay, we want to know will it be beneficial or not if we're going to construct this project. Okay, then we have to find out the requirement of materials, cement, sand, steel etc we will be using in the construction so we want to know what is the quantity that will be required then for the payment to the contractors we have to see that what is going on we have to formulate the tender and we have to pay the contractor certain amount of money based on the total cost so we have to find out that what will be the estimated cost then we want to check the quality the progress in the construction progress we want to check the quality of the work item by item say we have constructed the foundation and in the estimation process we assumed or we calculated that this much amount of materials will be required we want to check now is it true has this much material been used or not then the next item the tie beams the columns we want to check that the amount that we estimated is it being properly used or not for all these reasons we need estimation so estimation is a part of the entire project planning phase then what will be the data that we will require to prepare an estimate first we will require the drawings the plan view sectional view right view left view front view rear view etc everything we will be requiring from these drawings we will find out what are the volume of work for different items in the foundation what is our rcc work pcc work etc the beams the columns what is the total volume of work in the slabs etc etc we will be finding out from where from the drawings from the drawings we will take out the length the breadth the height and we will find out the volume of work and then we will proceed finding out the requirement of materials and then from the materials we will multiply the quantity of the materials to the rates and we will get the cost and then specification now what is specification specification means the quality or the type of material that we will be using there can be two type of specification one is general specification it gives us an idea about the entire work okay and then detailed specification in detailed specification we will go item by eight item various uh, items of works their quantities and qualities will be mentioned in the detailed specification in this one we are using first class brick in this beam we are using this grade of concrete and this type of reinforcements etc so they will have the detailed specifications of the items of work then we will also require the rates the rates of cement or uh, per bag of cement then per quintal of reinforcements this type per cubic meters of sand or coarse aggregate and fine aggregate etc etc so these are rates and these are given by the departments the cpwd or the state pwd they publish a schedule of rate now that we will have to follow okay we, if we are in assam we have to follow the rules and regulations of assam pwd if we are in arunachal pradesh we have to follow the one that is in arunachal pradesh and similarly for other states now these reports this schedule of rates are not published every year or every six months but the rates are changing every day or every uh, six months or so right uh, so what will happen this department will allow us to add some increments okay if suppose the schedule of rate in assam for example was given in 2015 now we want to do our work in 2020 now so the department will say that based on current market situation you can increase the rates given in 2015 schedule of rate by three percent or four percent or five percent like that so that way we will multiply the rates and we will find out the estimated cost then there will be one lump sum amount in our estimation this lump sum amount is kept for some petty items okay small small items like we need a small equipment we need some, some small extra material we need to hire one person or two person somewhere okay 
here and there we need to bring in some planks of wood etc etc so that kind of work will be keeping a certain amount of money from the total project cost okay suppose for example two percent of the total project cost we are keeping as lump sum amount or one person we are keeping as lump sum amount that way we will keep certain amount of money as lump sum and those will be used for these here and there works okay we'll discuss it later thank you